are mere casuals. <laughs> fighting with my family. She was fighting your family? Did no, you know? She I... played Paige from WWE. Oh, it's like a wrestling movie. Yeah, The Rock did it. And it was a I, started, I started recording, but okay. I see it. But, uh, yeah, no, and she was also in the TV show Hawkman. Hawkman? Hawkeye. Whoever the Marvel guy is. Hawkeye. Hawkman. I don't DC. think it's Hawkman. Hawkman. Hawkeye. The I least did. powerful Avenger. I did a surprise start recording. Sam was complaining earlier today that I start every episode by saying, okay, we're recording. Ow! So, yeah, oh. but my computer is still on. Al just ripped most of his arm hair out. <laughs> Just the rolling up of the sweater did it. <laughs> okay, so Al, remove your bandages. Sam, shut down your noise maker. I'm shooting on my computer. They took blood and pee from me today. Well, that's a good thing to have on here. I hated having needles in those two spots. Ew. Yeah. That sounds really unpleasant. Well, it is. Let me tell you. Oh, man. Okay, so um, might as well do our introductions while Sam's shutting down her computer. Her fan on her laptop is super loud, and we can't have it on while we're recording. It's doing that thing it did the other day. Um, just if you hold down the power button, it was hard burn to Burn it. Stop. No, then it, yeah, then then it, it, did then it decides here. that it doesn't want to work for hours. Okay, guys. New computers. They're expensive. 1200 Christmas bucks. is coming. You can get me one. Where am I going to get 1200 bucks for a new computer? Credit cards. Where else do people get their money? Yeah, I already maxed that it with Christmas. Then you get another credit card. So let's introduce ourselves. Yeah, inter- turn off your phone, turn off your computer. I guess I didn't technically warn anyone that I was starting recording. No. So. Well, you did tell me after you started. Yeah, because I wanted but to... But I also did see the thing start to... Yeah, well, I mean, you can, you can see when I click go, I guess. Do not collect $200. Can I collect $200? Anyway, my name is Okona, real name Alan. <laughs> Why are you mouthing it? I don't know. I always mouth <laughs> things when people talk. My name's Alan, slash Okona, slash, because I'm a rogue, however... I haven't been slashing very well lately because of stupid macros. Yeah, what happened with your macro, Al? We'll introduce ourselves after because that feels like a question we need to ask. Well, yeah. So, I got murder. Yeah, your (laughs) knuckles created a little blurb. I got murder, which is a dagger. So I changed my spec a little bit to do a little more damage. And I created a macro for backstab. And I actually spelled it backstab. And I couldn't figure out why the devil wasn't working. And you spent the entire heroic we were doing complaining that, oh, why doesn't my backstab work? Why am I so bad at DPS? Well, you know what else didn't even work was my ambush. It just kept attacking the guy. Your melee swing. No, I ambushed. Damn it. That's because your ambutt macro didn't work properly. No. Apparently, I had it to start attack and then cast ambush. I should do cast ambush, start attack. Oh, well, there we go. So While we're talking about macros, Sam has new macros too, but we'll yeah. talk about those later. All I can say is that holy macro, I'm so glad I got that fixed. You can use my crickets thing here again. So, Sam, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Sam slash Rolaren. Rolaren. You are Sam Polearm Rolaren. Polearm? Yeah, I have a pole arm. But what yeah, does that you don't have to slash do with, with a pole arm. You poke. You, so you're Sam poke roll, Aaron. We, Sorry, we, I gotta try to speak louder. Yeah, what's we, wrong with you, Sam? Why do you sound sick? I have COVID or had COVID, so I am actually trying to stay away back as far as I can. You've just had in COVID. Case. You've had COVID for long six, enough that you you so were told I'm only dice. Fine. Late for you had a while. COVID. I wouldn't go near you with a ten foot pole arm. Because yeah. you use a pole arm. Yeah, I get it. We never thought. We, we never said we had point out her arms. Yeah, we have. COVID, because you she got really long arms, so we make fun of her. Okay, never mind. Crickets. Wait, what? I don't even understand what you're saying. Say, say it again slowly. Pull arm. No, I'm not going to say it any slower. Pull arm? Pull arm. Making fun of her arms. She's got a pull arm. Oh, okay. Go, go, gadget oh, arm. Oh, because she, she can't, she can't yeah, bend her I one arm. An arm that doesn't bend. It's okay, this one hurts. She has, well, no, but her arm actually, have you seen her arm that doesn't bend? Both of her arms are. Or sorry, right it bends. Her arm that doesn't extend. Watch this. So I guess it's do not it. a. No. I would love you to do it. No, I'm not going to pull on that. You pull on that. Oh God. Can I? Am I allowed to introduce myself? Yes. I'm Will slash Josh. That's all I have to say about that. I'd also like to say for the record that you this week I'm also Alan slash Torash. Oh yeah, because we have alts now. But we're going to talk about alts later. So don't you? We'll talk about your rash later. So first, before we get to the news, dear, dear, dear. do you know what time of year it is? Christmas. It's Christmas time in the city. Okay. Now I'm having second thoughts. Yeah. Should we still give him the thing? Yeah. No. No, don't give me a thing. I didn't bring a thing. No. Merry Christmas. No, it's not Christmas. Open. Yeah, it's Christmas-ish because we're not going to see each other for it the next week. It is December 15th. 
It is 16th, not. 17th, 18th, 19th. What day is it? I'm pretty sure it's the 19th. 19th. I got there. But we're not going to see you until after Christmas because we're not going to be recording next Monday because it's Boxing Day. So there's a possibility that we may miss a week with the episodes unless we record later in the week next week. So wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that I'm only allowed over here when we're recording podcasts? No, I just know that we have busy weeks and it's Christmas, so you may not be over here, so we're giving you your Christmas gift. Well, Open your Christmas gift, Al. I'm going to cry. I didn't bring the gift for you guys. Move the, There's two move of the us. candy just wrappers. One gift? I'm just kidding. Well, to be truthful, <laughs> I didn't yet buy the gift I'm for kidding. you guys. I'm totally kidding. We, I thought it would be fun to ambush you with a gift while we were recording. So I got one for your child, but only your youngest child. Did your older child's mind? Probably like, not. Okay. I don't know. I don't think he'll notice. I don't think he knows it's Christmas. We have two older, by the way. The way you said that. Yeah. <gasps> it's a box. I've always wanted a box. We're not going to go there. No. no. No, no. Is it upside down? Yes. That's the it's, top. Uh, make sure you get the top because you don't want it all to spill out onto the floor. It's in pieces? I hope not. I don't think so. It shouldn't be. I didn't double check it before I wrapped it. Okay, you packed it in scotch tape. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so... I wonder if there's anybody out here who enjoys the wrapping paper and the tape and the in the cardboard sounds. Oh, I feel like I'm about to get mugged. Uh oh. <laughs> don't don't throw it across the room. Oh, well that's close. You almost did drop it. We'll move oh no, box. I saw one word on there. Oh, that's what this box was. Yeah. I saw this box in the closet and I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, it's your meds. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, it's your meds. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, get your meds. So is that what it says on your mug, Al? Yeah, well, it's just got if you're happy and you know it, it's your meds. You guys are so cruel. <laughs> hey, you keep hey, saying that. Hey, you're the that. one who says it. I know, I love it. <laughs> your cruelty is very well appreciated. Thank you very much. Now I feel really bad. What? Oh, well, take I, the plastic before you dump your cup. Yeah, that came from the internet, so you don't know what's on there. And I wrapped it when I had COVID. So. Oh, right. Oh. But the mug was in the box. The box was sealed the whole time, wasn't it? I would so wash I your hands. Sanitizer. No, you got me another gift. I got you COVID. Time off work. Yeah, you didn't share it with me. I get like Okay, 10 I'm totally kidding. I wrapped it today off. and I washed my hands, so you're oh, probably well, yeah, you're fine. fine. What are you talking about? You're trying to be dramatic. Uh, yeah. Well, hold on a second. Something's a little unfair. You just complained about the fact you said gifts. So wait, you guys buy one and I have to get two. I was totally <laughs> joking. Like, I just let I just let him point that. Out. Now, well, I picked this gift out, so Sam's I bought it with my money. Yeah, I know. It was a team effort. It was. <laughs> yeah. So you do. I mean, like, it was the least you could do. She literally did the least she could do. Yeah, that's there's a lot. I ordered there. it and wrapped it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, look at that table tap. Big table tap spike on the sound there. Where's your carpet? <laughs> I didn't put the I didn't put the the zebra blanket out this week. I forgot because last week I put the zebra blanket out, and there are points where you moved it aside and knocked anyways, just to make a point. I did not. You did once. I okay, think it was me. yeah, she was did a knock. Oh, Sam's always doing yeah. weird things. However, I have to do this for my jokes to make up for your crickets. How do you know about the crickets? You don't listen to our podcast. I certainly do. I didn't listen to the last one. Yeah, that's where I added the crickets because I was there when it was being made. It's like, do I need to see the baby? No. I figure... Was there when it was made? <laughs> I figure <laughs> I figure we need more sound effects and stuff, so I've been adding some sound effects and things. Pew! Pew! It's not a sound effect. What? I'll tell you after. Not relevant to the podcast. Okay. Is it the baby thing? No. No. No, I hope not. I, uh, yeah. No. No. So, we, so can, do we, we, can, we can add... When you're doing the news, let me know. Well, would we like to do the news now? Sure. Pause for news intro. Cut the promo. It's time for the news. And we're back from news intro. So, um, news. Well, your your Christmas gift to me, if you're happy to you know it at your meds, has led me to share my story is that I may be going to decaf coffee. Oh, yeah, you told me that already. Is, so it are you, is that decaf coffee? News? This is decaf. Has a taste. Tastes like normal coffee, it doesn't it? It tastes gross. It's dirty water. So is regular coffee. It tastes like decaf mm-hmm. coffee. I've been drinking decaf coffee for yeah. years. And well, it tastes like normal coffee. Part of my meds is two blood pressure pills. 
So I've decided to stop being a baby about it and say, you know, I'm not going to drink that decaf and try and get rid of regular calf because I hear that calf gives you high blood pressure. Also, stop putting so much salt in your coffee. Yeah, I know, right? Actually, that's something that my parents used to do when I was a kid. Salt in coffee? Yeah, it takes a little bit of the bitterness out of the coffee. Oh, yeah, no. That I've sounds terrible. That I like work. the bitterness. I'm all about the bitterness. You know what some people do? You know it's what I saw? It's just a little dash, and I don't do that anyway, but I used to do it for my parents all the time. I tried it once, and I didn't enjoy it at all. You know what some people do, though, with the with the whole keto fad diet thing? Is that still stick around, or is that in the past? They put a stick of butter in their coffee. They put coffee. butter in their coffee, and, That's disgusting. and then actually drink it? They have a but special like, kind of butter. But what's the difference between putting a stick of butter in and the amount of cream I put in my coffee? Uh, well, there's probably a bunch of sugar in the cream you put in your coffee, which is... Probably still not as good. It Well, it tastes. I'm sure it tastes better than putting butter. But here's the question. like People people like myself who have mustaches, say I was to put a stick of butter into my coffee and melt it. If I'm drinking it, am I going to get like, a, a, like icicles, butter icicles on my mustache? Is it going to like stick to it? That's pretty slick. Because I feel That's like it would it would gross. separate and like skim to the top, and I'd get a butter mustache. Now that you brought and up your mustache, you kind of need to trim it. Butter. Well, I know it's because I we've had a we've had a lazy week because of the COVID, yeah. and I, I was going to shave and clean myself up before work, but I didn't feel it was important to shave or even mention it during the podcast because no one can see us. But anyways, yeah. back to the butter because butter has a very distinct smell. So if you drank a butter coffee. I feel like I'd smell butter on my mustache all day, and I'd just start craving popcorn, probably. I was just going to say, in a good moment, you could make a bowl of popcorn and heat your body up and just stand over it and let it drip off your beard to butter it up. Mustache. Mustache. I wouldn't get it on my beard. because. How I'm, would you get it on your chin? Well, well because, if you spill enough. Because there's do you, a lot wait of a minute. hair here that it'll sometimes just go down. You have to... how, do you drink, how do you drink your coffee? Do you just fit the entire mug over your mouth mm-hmm. and just tilt your head back and suck like it? Oh, so you dip your mustache in it first. <laughs> How do you avoid getting it on your mustache, Sam? I shave it. Oh, okay. How do you shave coffee? Mustache. Oh, that's shaved? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Sam's hiding in her shirt now. <laughs> hey, while you're there. That was an awkward jo- joke, and now I'm stuck in my shirt. <laughs> my glasses are stuck. Well, you can't take it up over either because you don't have anything on under that, do you? <laughs> don't. Wait, what? No. Lift that sucker up. No, just kidding. So what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, we did the news intro. I feel like we did the news intro and then did no news. Oh, you, you're going to decaf. Is, decaf, I'm going to decaf. But that has nothing to do with the game. We live in a world where Al switching to decaf is important. Headlining, leading the news segment. Decaf, news. you said it. Yeah. Decaf. What well, did I say? Things have been joyous. Joyous journey continues. Until the 16th of January. Yes, and then they believe that it's a possibility that on the 17th... Alduar? We'll I hope up. so. Because the 16th is a Monday, so joyous journeys ends on a Monday. And people on the internet, who are notoriously always right, speculate be that uh, that Alduar might come out on the 17th, because that is a patch day, and it's when Joyous Journeys ends. Which I did, I inserted a little bit into our last episode when we were talking about it, just because I want to be ahead of the news, even though it's not confirmed news. But I think that will be cool, because that is what? Is that a little less than a month away? Yes. And, like, we we are not hardcore raiders. As, as the title of our podcast indicates. No, we are merely casual. And even, well, I don't know about you two because you don't go much, but even myself, like, I don't need anything in Nax anymore. Like, I'm all Naxed out. There's a couple, like, I want the shield from I KT. I almost got a helm in uh, Nax. You would have if you hadn't gone to bed. No, I couldn't. I could not stay awake. So Nax raid last week, uh, you couldn't go because you got called into work for no reason, apparently? Yes, they didn't need me. Son of a... Oh. Well, so you got uh, you got called into work, so you couldn't go. Sam went, but she has the COVID, had the COVID on Saturday, so she was all tired. And how far did you get? We got three wings down, and then you then you bailed. I think so. You did get some loot. You got a you got a helm, so you Not didn't the get one I you didn't get zero helms. You got the leather cowl of silence or something. I don't remember what it was called. It was a good. It was uh, a significant. Working. I can still hear her. It was a significant. <laughs> <laughs> It was a significant upgrade over that blue item she was wearing from, like, Gundrak or something. Zuldrak? No, not Zuldrak. What's the... Drak Thalon. I think that's where she got it. I think I'm still wearing a blue item from something like that, so... Oh, man, that hurts to hear. I but still she, have a green item on. Your trinket. Trinkets are a pain in the butt. But her... her um, she, soft re- she put in a soft reserve for the 
the tier the tier seven point five helm that drops like you know the tokens that you turn in for that. Yep. She draw she put in a ticket. No, not a ticket. Soft saw reserve. Saw she put in her soft reserve for the helmet token that drops off KT, and then left with I think five four or five bosses left. I think you could have. I think you could have done it. Yeah, but make me feel. I'm worse. not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just criticizing your decisions. <laughs> no, I'm not. You were tired. You were sick. It's fine. But we you're, got you're to KT. Secret. When it comes to the game, don't feel. <laughs> so we got. Well, to, I have a story for that then. Oh, I don't even know what you're going to say. So we got. Oh, is it going to be about Al? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to be about Al. So um, yeah, we get to KT and Sam's in bed at this point, and two of the hunter. Etc. 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 Helms drop, and no Did one had them on deed? reserve. No, I think they went off spec. Okay. So people took them, but like no one needed them for main spec because Couldn't it's what is it? Have been like, can we just give her one anyway? We can't. They're, you're not there unless you're you there. In logged me on. No, after the boss is dropped. killed, it, you can't. Oh. Like if you're not there for the boss kill, there's no way to get it. No. Um, so I think because it's hunter, warlock, priest. No, Warlock, Priest, and what's Paladin is with Paladin. I don't know. Whatever class combination it was, we didn't have a lot of them, and nobody needed them, so you would have gotten one. And uh, that would have been that would have been cool. My soft reserve did not drop. Has it ever? Once, but I didn't have it on reserve. And it's technically my off spec, because I'm technically main spec ret. But I like tanking, and I'm trying to collect tanking gear, because I don't really need any more ret gear from necks, except for that one neck item that has never dropped. The fool something. Um, so mm. I want I want the weapon and the shield off of KT real bad, but there's main spec tanks that need the weapon. So I didn't soft reserve that, but I soft reserved the shield because our two main tanks are both DKs, and our warrior tank who didn't even show up already has it, but it didn't drop, and I want it. Well, you need a new warrior tank, I think. No, warrior tanks are fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like fine. where you were going with that. Warrior. Well, I mean, you, well, we'll we'll talk about your warrior tank when we get to the ults. We have to. We have a process here. I feel like we're in the news segment, but not talking about news. Did we have more news? No. Uh, well, shortly after, we'll talk about this again. Just a heads up that the lunar festival. Oh yeah, that's that's the news. The lunar festival starts on January twentieth, and I feel like a large part of this podcast has turned into us achievement tracking, because that's what casual players do. They just do achievements and stuff, and it's fun. But that's what we do anyways. So the next achievement, the next, what is it? What's the long strange trip? The next long strange trip uh, meta thing is the joy is no, not joyous journeys, lunar festival. And that's going to be on the 20th. We're midway through winter veil now, which we have been working on, which we'll talk about. Do we want to, is that all the news? Is there any more news? I don't think we have much news. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yeah. This Enjoy will be reaching well. people's ears on December 26th. Feliz Navidad. This episode, in fact, did not reach listeners' ears on December 26th, but at a much later date instead. So happy oh. yesterday. Oh, happy Boxing Day. Go out and beat somebody up. Is that what Boxing Day is for? That's Black Friday. Right. This awkward edit has been brought to you by an inappropriate joke. Did you know that not every country has Boxing Day? Uh, I didn't, but that's just because I didn't give it any thought. It doesn't surprise me. Like, I don't I don't know, because I've been talking to... Oh, not, not have been. In the past, I've talked to people from other countries. I feel like the States might be one of them, where they don't really... Do they celebrate Boxing Day in the States? Actually, I don't have any friends in the States, so I can, you have more States friends than I do. Because I know I've been talking to people in the past and, and talking about Boxing Day, and they're like, what's Boxing Day? I don't think anybody has Boxing Day anymore. Well, we have Boxing Day. We have Boxing no. Day sales. No, it's like Boxing Forever. Boxing Week. Boxing Week. Well, that's boxing the sales. Month. Some people have Boxing Day There's sales Black Friday right? Week, and there's Cyber Monday Week, and there's Black Boxing Friday? Day Week. Yeah. We need to get things back down to a day. Now, some people argue... I don't know. I'm okay with a week full of sales. I just like things being unique. Really? Because if, like, say I wanted a computer, I don't want to be limited to one day. Because remember that one year he when gets- I needed a new computer... And we woke up at 5 a.m. on Boxing Day and went and stood in the slush and rain to yes, get me a new computer because that, that was the only day it was on sale. But you you forget to mention that we were up most of the night playing Settlers of Catan for Christmas with what was my ex and what is... What, what still your is your ex. ex. Yeah. So, so yeah, we, we were up all night playing Settlers of Catan. Yeah, I had fun. I had fun too, but it would be nice not to be limited 
to one day then for Boxing Day sales. That. We would never get up when it's still dark out, go and get coffee, be deadly tired, and stand in a lineup full of people. In the slush and rain. In and, the slush and rain. And disgusting Boxing Day weather because it's like cold. But it's Christmas, so it can't be nice blanket of white snow. It has to be dirty and wet. Because Christmas is always dirty and wet. See, Speaking of dirty and wet, Sam, do you have anything to say about this? No. No? Not, not even a laugh? That was rude. <laughs> okay. But and you, gross. It, here's, here's the thing. You and I remember that day the same, but you and I feel about that day differently. I, I don't have negative... I, we, I had fun. I don't have negative memories about that day. I'm saying sales should last a week. You're saying sales should last a day. I'm saying Josh also has buyer's remorse. He likes to be like, oh, I think I'm going to get this. Wait the entire week, then buy it on the last day. Because he doesn't know if he actually wants it. I don't want to be cornered into purchasing decisions so wait, by aggressive five. Best Buy salespeople. I think Is that why what? It took you five years to marry me. Buyer's, no. buyer's remorse is, is the return Maybe. of something that you bought. I know. I try to preemptively avoid so, buyer's remorse by making sure I really want it. To take it back, it would just sit here. No, I would use it. I would just regret paying for it. I'm not going to buy a new computer and then have it sit here in the house and not use it. That would be silly. Well, we have enough broken ones in the house. We have an appropriate amount of broken computers in the house. You can't just throw out an old computer. You have to keep it in case you need the parts someday or something. And when has that ever come in handy? It came in handy when I needed an extra computer to play EverQuest. I went through the computers downstairs and I picked out the parts that worked. And picked out the parts that worked. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I picked out the parts that worked and I built a computer that would run EverQuest, which honestly doesn't take much. I think you can run EverQuest on a ruler. But I built a computer and I used it for one of my extra boxes. Okay. So it's, so it's good to have extra computers sitting downstairs. I have that old laptop that you broke down there too in case I ever need a broken laptop. I even kept the screen, which doesn't work. Maybe we should clean the basement. Probably. We also have Al stuff. True. I'm just kidding. It's like one chair in a box. <laughs> oh, sorry. I tuned out when you said EverQuest. <laughs> hey. I know we have at least some crossover listeners between World of Warcraft and EverQuest, so... And we got, oh, speaking of which, we got, we got, someone actually joined our Discord. Yes. We have a two person. People. A person. We have two. Well, one is one of Al's friends, so that doesn't count. A friend of Jeff. Jeff's. A, a friend of, of Purple Elf Jeff. Well, a listener of his podcast, anyways. Um, I was going somewhere with that. I don't so thank where. you for the join. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Thank so we you have for the shout out that I got the join. A, list, a listener in the, in the Discord that we have been chatting with and says good morning to us sometimes. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember his name. Too, too bad my friend never comes over and chats. He has. It would be nice. What friend? He's a, Your friend that's in our Discord? Yeah. Yeah. I well, talked well. to him. Have you? Yesterday. No. Day before? Like, what's his name that Al brought into the Discord? Yeah. I don't oh, know okay. his name. Well, there you go. An H. Hydraxis. There you go. So, where I'm going with that is we need more people to join our Discord and chat with us and have fun. Yes, and if you have a hard time finding it, because Discord IRLs are so hard to say, just look for <laughs> Mere Casuals on YouTube, pick the About, and there's a link to Discord there. Or go back and listen to episode 8, where I painstakingly slowly read out the Discord URL that you can yeah. just then type into your Discord app. Yeah, on the my, my, my way is easier. It's also I can on also Facebook probably page. I can probably put the Discord link in our podcast notes, too, if I can figure out how to do that. But I don't know if I know how to do that. Have we talked about Warcraft yet? Just in the news. Just in the news. We should talk about World of Warcraft, because we're like 25 minutes into this. And I feel like we've talked about... Are you taking your shirt off? What are you doing? No, I'm Ooh, not. Take it off. Just playing with them a little there? I was just adjusting my shirt. Okay. Um, so yeah, so let's... Okay, so we're done the news, clearly, because that was all news. Um, the fact that Boxing Day sales are apparently too long for Al um, is news. So let's talk about what we've been doing this, this past week. What have we been doing? What have you been doing, first of all? We'll talk about what we were doing, because we've been doing separate things. Yes, Which I've been, he's pining, not happy about. been pining over the fact that you just jump ahead and are leveling together. You're all of a sudden 76 and I'm 71. We're 78. And now you're 78 and I'm 74. So we helped you catch up. Okay, so you saying that. So when I made a big deal, when Josh did it to us back when he went to 80, you said, oh, no, it's fine. 
I said and then it was ne- fine. No, because Al said that he didn't really care. Mm-hmm. And then now you care. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that I always disclaimer it in chat. I don't know, maybe you don't hear it, but I thought I said, you know that my complaining is just for fun. I don't care. I don't read our chat sometimes because <laughs> Well, no, I spoke it. Oh. I spoke it. I don't in care. Voice chat. I don't care. Oh, in voice chat. But I'm going to raise a stink when it happens just for the sheer joy of raising a stink when something happens. So, like, But we went back. I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm, I just looked at you and I'm giving you the okay to talk. No, it's okay. Continue. No, no, say what you were saying. No, 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 no. You like to interrupt. You like to talk more than I do. You both started at the same time. Nobody interrupted. I interrupted you to say that nobody interrupted, but that's about it. Go ahead. I don't know what I was going to say now, so you go. I think it started with butt. Or did mine start with butt? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember what I was going to say either. <laughs> oh, oh, I was remember what I was going to say. You sure you don't want to talk? I don't remember what I was going to say. Um, we did go back and we got you some levels running you through some dungeons. We got you some gear. Because you're, you're prot spec with your warrior now. I also got some of that on my own. I know. <laughs> Just You make it seem like I'm sitting back watching you do all the work. No, it was great when we were running there. dungeons with yeah. the full group and I actually got to tank. So you, do you enjoy prot spec? Because tank yeah, spec is awesome it's, now. It's, it's so much better than my DPS because I actually get a little bit of survivability and I still get to smash the crap out of things. A lot of bit of survivability. Yeah, yeah. My I don't see my health going down. Boom, 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 boom. I don't see my health going down. Slower. And if you have somebody nearby that can heal, then, then your health barely goes down at all because it goes down a little and then back up and a little yeah. and then back up. I hardly ever see one. It's just a terrible shame, man. <laughs> I know I have a shaman that follows around. Yes. There's an interesting set of names that we have because your shaman, is it Shaggy? No. My shaman's Lieutenant Worf. No, that's not so interesting. Shaggy, Shaggy was a shaman from the past. For some reason, I thought I saw Shaggy. Okay, never mind. So, Lieutenant Worf, you're Guinan, and I'm Torash. Yes. No, I'm not Trash. I'm Torash. Which sounds disgusting. Which is a very well-researched troll name. We we initially made these characters way back when, when Classic first came out, with the idea that we were going to copy our Saturday morning cartoon guild when we played Alliance. <laughs> I don't have nails. I was doing this. It's good. When we played Alliance, we had a Saturday Morning Cartoons Guild, and Toe Rash is actually a cartoon troll. From what cartoon? I don't know. I just Trolls. used it. Oh. I will look it no, up. No, I feel like it's older. If it's Al, it's probably from the 70s. Ah, great. Okay. Yeah, so so it is a very well-researched name. And then we have another troll in the guild who obviously researched their name as well. They're Toenail. So trolls just like to deal with toes. Trolls are dirty. But those are, our, those are our alts that we've been working on because the joyous journey is up and Sam has been off with COVID so she's actually been playing with me in game. So we... <laughs> Why did you have to continue? Well, okay. I mean, I, I feel like that's the important part that we've been playing in game, our characters. So we actually went from level, was it 71 or 72 that we were at? 72 when you started. So we went from 72 to 78 in two days. Um, we completed all of Dragon Blight. Blight. It's Dragon Blight. I went through like five different names this morning. When I was trying to say it. We we completed Dragon Blight, start to finish, every single that was quest. Last night. Was that last night? Well, we did it during the day yesterday too. Like it was a full day thing. When you couldn't figure out the name, it was last night. Oh, that I couldn't figure out the name. Okay. Um, so we did we did all of Dragon Blight, even the the Wrathgate whole event at the end. Where we were teleported to Undercity and had to do the siege of Undercity, which that was terrible. That was awful. That is so long. That would have been a really cool event slash cutscene if it was about five minutes long, but it took a full hour. Like Thrall slowly walks up towards Until Undercity, the very end, and then he started running. And then we spend fifteen minutes with like just waves of undead coming in. And we're f- helping fight them, but it's like meaningless combat because we're all buffed up and nothing damages damage. us. So we're just kind of... It's its like sitting in a newbie zone hitting level 1s for 15 minutes. And then Thrall says something and we move to the next a- uh, the next area really slowly. And then, I almost and then it's another elevator. 15 minutes. <laughs> Sam almost died in the elevator. Under city, under death. Under, uh, under city elevator deaths. Yes, exactly. That's a guild. I know. But I... I could not believe how long that was. And so that was like a full hour it took us to get the 60,000 experience that from that. That is one quest we are not going to help you with. 
See, we need to do it though. Yeah, I know. Because it's an achievement. <clears throat> to, we got to finish the the Wrathgate attunement is an achievement, and the finishing all the quests. Although we could probably finish Dragon Blight lore master achievement without doing that quest at the end but it's an achievement on its own so that's just I mean, we got it we got to do it again the cinematics are worth it yeah but the cinematics are like two minutes worth of the whole thing like like i said if if the whole thing was five minutes that would still feel long but it would be like appropriate like i don't want i don't want an hour long semi-interactive cutscene. Was it literally an hour? It was yeah. literally an hour. Wow. Because we got there. I don't know if it's something that like runs through on a loop and we just happened to start at the very beginning. Well, someone but we, joined us right at the end. Yeah, we poured it in. Lucky guy. And yeah. it said, okay, five minutes until the whatever it's called, the, the what's it called? The something of Undercity. Siege? Siege, yeah. Five minutes until the Siege of Undercity starts. So we're waiting our five minutes. And then it's going, and that was at like quarter to five or something like that. And we got we got to the end at, at quarter to six, like it was a full hour. Nice. It well, I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> it was painful, and like I almost fell asleep. Sam almost fell asleep. We both almost fell asleep. But that's not that's not Al the point. We did have fun. Asleep. Other than that, uh, that hour long, just dragging through that, it was. Dragon Blade was a fun zone. Like we finally finished Dragon Blade, and it's it's really fun. You should finish it with us sometimes. Sometime. Should finish a lot of zones. We're yeah. almost done Grizzly Hill. No, we're yeah, we are less than I've, half done. On my Grizzly main, I've got full shiz on my Grizzle. See, I don't see on my Paladin. I'm missing Dragon Blade and Grizzly Hills, and I'm going to have them both on my Shaman now. Should be able to combine achievements because now I'm going to have to go back and finish them on my Paladin. But. Did you look something up? Yeah, my troll name. Oh, okay. Um, what cartoon was it from? Well, I couldn't find a cartoon, so it's interesting. So I just said, how did I get this? So I did a little more research, and apparently it's a trollkin names for RuneQuest and Glorantha. Hmm. And it's not an actual troll name, because they have trollkin names. Um, it's under another category, which is coming up. It's trollkin nicknames. Oh, and uh, Toe Rash is there. So how does one get the nickname Toe Rash? I'm going to guess they probably bit somebody on the ear once. Yeah, it checks out. So They Sammy Guevara, his ear as if it was John Moxley. I don't know what any of that means. Well, it's something that happened on my wrestling show on Friday that I said you wouldn't like. Oh, that's that's fair. I probably wouldn't like it. So we we did those. So we did, we're doing Grizzly Hills with Al, and we did some Howling Fjord with Al. Try not to make eye contact with contact with him because he's going to start talking about wrestling again. No, I did that on purposely just to see you get uncomfortable. <laughs> um, so we did we did some Howling Fjord with Al to help him catch up to us a bit. We did Grizzly Hills. We're doing Grizzly Hills with Al. What? I'm doing it softly. I'm tapping for emphasis. It's not showing up. See, I'm looking at the thing. It's barely showing up. Um, so we did those and. This morning we started because we want to go through because we're at seventy eight now we're almost we're almost eighty we're getting close so we're going yeah we actually bit his ear you know what it looks like they're they're in bed and having a real good time and he's like whispering in that guy's ear well, that looks like an intimate moment is he what bit it looks the like. earring out and they start chewing on the earring why they put on a show and then. What's even better, he looked, he looked around the audience and you can see there's blood all down his face. He's got his tongue, there's blood on his tongue and he's got blood on his hand. He goes, and he licks his hand and it's like, where do they why find do these people? This? And why are they not locked up? And then he goes down and his girlfriend's there and uh, they, they share a kiss and he look over and she's got little dribbles of blood on her face. Ew. Ew. That's actually one of the worst things I've ever heard. <laughs> That's okay. horrible. That is horrible. And that's was that scripted or like why? Probably, John. John. So that has to have been fake. John likes to bleed. So he didn't actually bite the guy's ear off if it was scripted. Oh, he bit the earring out of the ear. So he wrapped his mouth around the guy's ear and he like worked the earring out with his tongue, and then he ripped it and out. Then pulled. He didn't rip it out. No he, way he ripped the. Th- that's so gross. If he did, then that's nasty. Um, well, so he, he either ripped it out or it came off and then John cut it because he was bleeding profusely. Or he bit a blood packet. 
his teeth in his ears? No, when he was biting his ear. So you're, you're, you're telling me that they scripted as part of a show someone biting someone else, drawing blood, getting it all over their face, and then kissing someone else with their blood-covered face. I would imagine so, yes. No, I don't. Either either that's not true or that's gross and shouldn't be on TV. That's nasty. But if the blood keeps producing at the site, it's not a blood packet. Yeah. Wrestling is just wrong. In fact, there was one time I saw him lying on the floor and somebody knocked his head into the stairs and he gets down on the floor. And then you just see him, he goes like this. And then he reaches up and puts his hand at the little handle on the steel steps and he obviously drops a blade down there. <laughs> He's yes. bleeding. And so. I'm sure nothing happens to any of these wrestlers later in life from their traumatic brain injuries. No, it's not real. No? It's not? No. Okay. It's either it's real or it's not. So, okay, let's no, go back the to... the blood is real. Okay, okay. My God. My God. Oh my. Okay, so back to what we were doing. So because we're almost because we're almost at eighty, me and Sam have started He's just getting edited, doing our I don't even know. <laughs> me and Sam have started doing our Hodor attunement. Because, oh, because we want to be able to do our our rep and get our shoulder in chance. And we're gonna start doing Ice Crown because we wanna collect badges. Because we wanna we wanna gear up. Yes. And do Nax alt runs and heroics. And heroic pluses, in Alduar, in everything, we want to do everything, right, Sam? Yes. You look tired. I just want. I am tired. <laughs> um, I want to do the only spot I haven't done on my main is what is it called? Zaldrak. Yes, but you told me I wouldn't enjoy it. I myself, told you. So that's well, why I haven't done it. It's not that I don't think you would enjoy it. The first part of the zone, there's a lot of. Like you go to the you go to the camp and they tell you to go and put on a disguise and take a quest from there and do some weird obscure thing and come back. It's really tedious. I didn't I didn't enjoy the first part of the zone. The second half of the zone I liked. Once once you're not going up and down to the ziggurat thing anymore, um, the rest of the zone's a lot of fun. But it starts out kind of slow, and I didn't know if you'd like it or not. But we can do it. We should do it together. Either on. Can you help me do it with my main too. You should do it. So you I should do it with your main for the achievement. Yeah, it'd be better it, it, unless you want to do it with both. It'd be better to do it as your main because then you work towards your lore master achievement. And I can either go with your main with my shaman or just help you through it with my paladin. They're not hard. Like we don't need a geared level eighty to do them. I would be the geared level eighty doing. Oh it. right, yeah, because you're hunter. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, I lost track. So that's. More or less. Toe Rash doing? can come with us. Toe Rash can come with us, yeah. Don't even have to be level 80. Yes, did you? I'll check and see what Okona's at. <clears throat> have, oh, you not, have you not have done you the done zone? That zone with I don't know if I've done all the zone. Oh, I, I thought you finished. I thought you finished Zoldrak with Okona. I might have. I might have. I don't remember. Because the, the bonus to doing it with Toe Rash would be it unlocks the Gundrak and the Gundrak quests. And if you're not 80 yet by the time we finish Zoldrak, then you could do those quests for a bunch of experience. Because we could, you could tank Gundrak probably pretty soon. Like you're what seventy four? Yeah, you're seventy four now. You're getting some decent tank gear. The zones we did do, did we do? Did you tank Old Kingdom? No, we didn't do no, Old we didn't end up because we were tired. We ended up doing Old Kingdom. So you tanked Utgard Pen? No, not Utgard. Utgard, Utgard, Keep, Utgard Keep and Am. Am. Are those the only the two we did? We did because we did Am twice. a couple times. Oh, right, and That's the second time I we fell. did. And then it did some sort of glitch thing. Yeah, the second time we did AN, it was Hydrox. Is it Hydroxis? What's the. No, that's your friend in Discord. Oh, wait, is your friend in Discord named after the boss in AN? I don't know. We'll have to double check. Whatever the spider is, the second box in AN, it was super bugged. Okay, Google. Well, I said that badly. Did Google respond? Yeah. What's the name of the spider boss in Azul Narub? Did Google actually understand what you asked? <laughs> it's kind of funny. What came up? I don't think I heard what I asked. So what came up, it says, as you were saying, it says, did Google actually understand what you asked? <laughs> it was printing across my screen. Okay, Google. What's the name of the spider boss in Azjol Narub? <laughs> What's the name of the spider boss in Azjona Rube? <laughs> Just say Ann? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Either way, the second boss was very bugged. 
when we were going towards it, you go across that narrow bridge, and Sam fell into the into the area. I really don't re- know what I was thinking. I think I was thinking I was on my hunter, and I was trying to avoid falling because my pet was beside me, and I was walking past a different hunter, <clears throat> and I thought it was my pet for a second, and then I fell. Okay, that that was a very that raises more story. questions than it answers them, I think. But you know, you and your pet. You don't have to avoid your pet. I know. It's not I was bump you off because the edge. it was narrow. Yeah. So I was passing some Hadronox. Okay. I was passing the hunter, not thinking, and then I just moved over a bit more. I don't know what happened. I fell. You were trying to be polite <clears throat> and give the hunter some space because you had COVID. I guess. Okay. You didn't <laughs> want to get. You didn't want to get within six foot of the hunter. But either way, you you fell, and we almost pulled it out. We almost killed all of those packs at once. But because Sam was dead at the beginning of the fight, we didn't have as much DPS, and uh, things started attacking me, and I died a little bit. So we had to we had to come back, and then thinking, okay, the event will just reset. So we waited for it to reset, and it did. And we pulled the big crushers with their ads, and we killed them. And was it Hadronox? Is that what it was called? And Hadronox did not move up the thing. And so we're sitting there and waiting. He's just fighting his ads down at the bottom of the tunnel. So we moved in a bit, and it triggered the event. Oh, that's not even the first one. The first one, Sam fell, yeah, and she died, and everything despawned. So we told Sam to run back, and we were we were looking for the boss, and then everything respawned while we were looking for the boss in the tunnel. That yeah. killed yeah, us the first time. Yeah, because you died before I got back. It yeah. responded. Okay, so that was our first attempt. So that the was first our first attempt. attempt was, was Sam was alone. She died. And that and that despawned the event. So then we went looking for. We were like, oh well, I guess the boss is gone. Yeah. So we were moving on, and then everything respawned on us while we were scattered around in the tunnel. Yeah, we were scattered. Respawned right behind us. So we were caught between us. Yeah, and we killed several of them. Like we didn't we didn't wipe right away. So we held our own for like a minute. That was good. So then we all came back, and we waited for it to reset again. And that's when it was really buggy. Pardon the pun, because they're bugs. No, they're spiders. They're arachnids. Yeah, but there's also beetles and other stuff. There's bugs there, too. They're called the bug dungeons. People call them the bug dungeons. They're bugs. I don't remember why we're talking about what they're called. But, yeah, so we we couldn't get... So we had to move up to the tunnel mouth to trigger the event. And then DBM says Hadronox is moving up the tunnel. So we're waiting. And what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to move up to the tunnel to the room. And then he fights all his arachnid ads, not bugs, um... And he, like, like poison drains them and heals up to full. And then when he kills them, you engage the boss and you kill him. But his ads never stopped spawning. They just keep kept coming and coming and coming. And we were waiting a few minutes. And finally, the hunter was like, I've had enough of this because that's what hunters are like. And he sent Not his pet in and started. Like You're a warrior in this story. True. So the hunter was like, okay, enough of that. We're just doing it. So the hunter sent in his pet and started firing. And the rest of us were like, oh, I guess we're fighting the boss now. So we went in, and I guess we were cleaving and AoEing too much because when the ads die and they're poisoned, they heal the boss. So after a couple minutes of fighting, the boss was at full. The hunter was dead. And I don't know, were you dead at that point? Hey, some of us were dead. So we, we wiped anyway. So we came back again, and we were like, okay, this is messed up. So we started, and we killed the, the, the scarab, the big crusher packs. And then it told us that the, uh, the encounter ended after like a minute and the boss despawned and we were like okay so i guess we're waiting for it to go again so it respawned again and then the same thing that happened that time the same thing as the second time happened again Mm -hmm. so the boss came up and his ads just kept streaming out of those two stairways and they never stopped so we were finally i think it was the healer was like okay everybody just go in like focus hard dps on the boss and maybe we can get him down and and end this yeah Oh, yeah, I was the healer. Well, someone else said it then, because it wasn't me that said it. I think it was the DK. Was, the was DK. there a DK within yeah. the DK? Yeah. So, so we a good didn't person. AOE anything. It. We just single-targeted the boss. We just single-targeted the boss. I popped my bloodlust because I finally went and trained it. I'll tell that story after this. Um, and uh, we managed to just barely get it down, like because we were starting to get overwhelmed by the ads. Mm-hmm. But we got it down, and as soon as the boss died, everything despawned, and we were like, okay... And someone said, well, a win's a win. I don't think it was me. It was a it DK. Was, the was it the DK? Yeah, I like that DK. I don't remember its name, but I like that DK. And then we went and we finished the zone because the rest of it's super easy. But because we're still leveling, I don't know if you noticed this, 
every time we killed those big crushers, we got like 8,000 experience. So we probably got double the experience out of that run than we normally would because we kept having to re-kill those ads on the spider boss encounter. But, yeah, so my, my shaman, who was, what was I, 76 when I went and trained? Sure. 77? I think it was 77 when I went and dual spec for healing. It was either 76 or 77. I went to learn my dual spec, and I opened up my trainer, and I had 700 gold worth of abilities that I had not trained yet, including Bloodlust. Because I kept looking at my book, thinking, where is Bloodlust? Why don't I have it? I should be using this, especially in dungeons. Do you know what else you should be using? What? Totems. I use them sometimes. I forget a lot. I use them on bosses, at least. Sometimes, when I don't forget. But yeah, so I had 700 gold worth of abilities to train. And now that I'm saying that, I just realized I trained all those abilities. I don't think I updated my bars. So I'm probably still not using my upgraded abilities. Nice. In my heal spec, I am, because I had just learned all those, and I hadn't made my heal bar yet. But enhancement, I'm still probably using like all my pre-70 stuff. But that was fun. So we did, yeah, we did AN, we did UK, we did a bunch of quests. We should we should do every dun- we should have you tank every dungeon because the fir- well the first we started we do do an AK UK with the three of us because you wanted to dip your feet in and test out tanking without the pressure of a full Someone group. Someone in our guild said that would be a disaster. <laughs> well, yeah, because I put in guild. I was like, uh, does any do any mid seventies want to do? UK, uh, we're doing it with a, a level 72 warrior tank who's never tanked before. And uh, one of our officers was like, well, that sounds like a disaster. <laughs> so nobody joined us. And then we then we cleared the dungeon without any deaths. We three-person UK. Which yeah. we should be able to do because it's not hard. But I still feel proud of our accomplishment. I enjoy some of the abilities the warrior has. Especially with the knockbacks when we were in UK and the dragons were knocking us back, I could charge right back in. Like with your interceptor, is that a different thing? It was just charge. Just oh, you can charge from out of con- from in combat. I can charge almost any time I want. Really, and it's just called charge. There's not like a different defensive ability. I don't tell have us, my other ones up. This one's charge. Tell us about Prop Warrior because I haven't played one in forever and I don't know about them. Okay, well I'm new to Prop Warrior, like three days old. So three give us your expert old. expert guide on how Prop Warrior works. Uh, well, he's a sword and board, but I'm not using a sword, I'm using an axe. You still slash. Yeah. Basically, the defense stance, if you get the talent for it, allows you to charge during combat. And you got three different charges, though I've only really used charge, I haven't used... Oh, I started to use intervene. That's what I was wondering if you were talking about, intervene. Yeah, you're I actually using intervene. charge. But intervene, I'm just learning I have to target a party member and intervene. That sounds like the job for a macro. Yes. Um, then there's another one where I can... Maybe it's not intervene. Maybe it's intercept. And then there's... Maybe it's intercept. There's, there's a thing where I can focus my gaze on a particular member of the group. And if that person's pulling aggro or whatever, I can focus on it. And they take like 3% less damage. I take 15% of their aggro. And that's not the same ability I use. No, that's a different one. You were what? using that on me when we were doing the, the, the pit and conquest hold. Yeah. Now, I might be wrong with the numbers there. Like I said, I'm just doing it. No, that sounds right. I looked at the, the tooltip for it when you cast it on me, and it, I think it's 3% and 15% threat. So Thunderclap... The threat might be more. Yeah. Thunderclap no longer has a limit. You can hit all the people within the range, and uh, with the talent i get a bigger range oh what what was the limit before was it just four don't know i think it was four okay um i like the other one i do which i forget what it's called right now where i just uh, do the little thing in front of me shockwave shockwave thank you i had that word a few moments ago but not when i wanted to say it so shockwave just basically stuns everybody for a moment i like the use of my shield spell reflect i got to get used to using but i really like that um i was yawning no. Not because Al's boring, because I'm tired. Yeah, there's uh, there's, there's quite a bit, and I've got to get used to you. And I'm not even using them to his full potential, and I'm doing pretty good with them. So. Yeah, because I know I was reading, because you were asking about like, like AOE threat and stuff, and one of the things I saw was the cleave, the cleave glyph that adds an extra target to cleave, and there's another one that... I think there's a there's something. I, was it a talent or a glyph that your devastate hits an extra? Or sorry, revenge hits an extra target. That's a talent, I think you said. It's you a had. talent. Yeah. So you've got some like some cleave threat stuff, and that's so that's fun. But like you were you were holding aggro relatively well, and your survivability was good. Yeah. 
See, here's the problem. I remember my first tune, uh, Note of Gog the Shaman. We were hanging out. I was hanging out with you. You were a druid at the time. And you had me go heel spec. So this is back in like 2008. Yeah. And when I was alone, it was an uphill battle to kill something. They couldn't kill me because I was heel spec. And this was pre-dual spec. Yes. Yeah. So, and then I also, I must have had, I must have tanked or something on Toe Rash before. Because I also have a memory of going in at level 80 to Alteric Valley. Yeah, so... I changed things up, and I was not doing a lot of damage, and a level 76 almost killed me. It was very humiliating at the time. <laughs> but, so when I when you suggested Prot, I was just thinking back, okay, as a healer, I didn't do a lot of damage. When I had Toe Rash, and I was in a, in a spec similar to that back in the original Classic, it was slow slow kill... I'm just I'm blown away because back in original vanilla classic, when we were doing AV, a level seventy six almost killed you. Yeah. How was someone level seventy six? Good point. Let's go with fifty six to okay. sixty. I'm I'm putting today's terms onto it. Yeah. But anyway. No, but I just... do I do remember that because that's yeah. when we played. I had the shaman. Sam had the hunter. You were the warrior. You were originally going to tank. Yeah. And we just ended up abandoning those characters eventually. Yeah. We we went alliance. Thanks, Sam. Um, we had fun. <laughs> but anyway, it was really nice to get into the prot spec and find that he's pretty lethal as well. Um, when you well, guys were AFK, I was taking on four or five things at the same time. In Grizzly Hills, my level or level higher. Yeah, like outdoor mob, like not the elites yeah, in the dungeons. Yeah, not yeah. elites, just outdoor mobs. And <clears throat> I was fine. Yeah, I was killing them fast, and I wasn't taking a lot of damage. I went, okay. This is this is almost paladin -y. Yeah, well, that's what I've been talking about, about paladins for the last couple of weeks. How, like, I originally thought, okay, I'm supposed to be rat when I'm soloing because of the damage. But then once trying prot, like, it's it's so survivable and you still do damage. Like, like tank specs have changed so much from, like, vanilla classic. Like, they used to be terrible. Like, to the point where even when you were tanking in dungeons while leveling up, you still weren't prot spec. Like, people would, would tank in arm spec and fury spec yeah, leveling up that. because you just you did not want to be prot because it was so bad. Yeah. You had to, for some... Even in some raids, like, there was fury prot hybrids that people would use because it's so hard to do any damage and you're so reliant on the... For warrior, anyways, on the rage you get from getting hit... And it's so hard to build aggro. And there's the famous, like, wait for three sunders before you engage because the tank needs to get aggro. That's not a thing anymore. Like, like everybody just rushes in. And if you're even a remotely good tank in Wrath, you should be able to snap all the aggro to you right away and hold it. Like, it's just not... They, they fixed it to the point where it's actually fun to play a tank spec, even if you're not in a dungeon. Like, even if you're not in a position where you're forced to be a certain spec because you need the extra damage mitigation, it's a viable spec for soloing and questing and probably PvP even. I don't do a lot of PvP, but I know there are prot builds for, like, arena and stuff. But it's just, it's changed so much that it's actually fun now. Yeah, it's it's got quite... It, yeah, it's fun. I'm not going to lie, I'm enjoying them quite a bit. So next um, thing you got to do is figure out all the macros and stuff you need. Because, like, I would like, as you were talking about the intervene, I know, like, for Sam, we did some macros for you for the raid. Like, there's macros, like, for your, for your, what's it called? What's the thing misdirect. called? Misdirect. There's macros for misdirect where you don't have to drop target from the boss. You have a macro set to misdirect onto a specific tank, and you just hit the hotkey for the macro, and it, and it, like, switches target, misdirect, all that for you. Um, so like you probably there's probably macros like that. So do you do you want to talk about because we did we redid your character a little bit your bars for the raid. How did you find that? Um, it was easier <clears throat> after you showed me how to use it three or four times before I figured it in. Yeah, well because you had you've got like your rotation, but most of your shots have something else like macroed onto them. Like your your multi shot has like your trinket and your. Oh, what's the other... Multi-shot's just a single target. Not multi-shot, your rapid shot, the one that... Oh, yeah. It's got your trinket. What else did we macro onto Not that? Not rapid shot. My um, steady shot, you put stuff on. Yeah, there's stuff on everything. 
steady shot's got something on it. Um, silencing shot because there's no global, global cooldown on the silencing shot, so they can be macroed together. Uh, another one has your your pet buff, your ferocious howl that you were forgetting to use because I didn't even know about it and I didn't tell you about it. So that you cast that, which gives you a DPS buff. You've got some other stuff macroed onto your multi shot. Your trinkets are put in there. Your speed potion. There's a speed potion macked in, macroed into your uh, rapid shot. Your rapid shot that you use when you're when we're on bloodlust and stuff like that. So oh, that'd be sweet. Yeah. So she's all set up with her. But I'm still at the bottom of the DPS. No, you weren't. There was some fights. I looked because I we did the logs and you were you did better than the week before. For the bosses, you were awake during. You were starting to fall asleep a bit during the end, I think. And uh, it's not my fault. I didn't say it was your fault. I said you were starting to fall asleep. That means that your bad DPS on those last couple bosses were not your fault because you had COVID and you were passing out. So you could see at the beginning of the raid, you were actually doing relatively well, quite well compared to where you usually were. Like you've you've gotten your DPS is up. You're doing better. And oh, your pet attack. You're sending pet in. We have that macroed onto something. Serpent sting. Yeah, on your on your serpent sting that you start with. So you've, uh, but you're enjoying having everything on macros. We had a misdirect macro set for each of the tanks. And then had to add one because they changed yeah, the tanks. Well, you around. had to add on the fly because they they brought in a pug tank even though I was there, ready to tank. And if you've got a paladin in your raid, you probably want to use them as a tank and bring in a proper DPS instead of having the Paladin DPS. Although I'm not that far down on the meters within our guild, even though I'm the lowest DPS uh, spec we have in the raid right now. Maybe Fury Warriors might be lower, but I'm not sure. Um, but I still manage to stay up higher on the bar because I try really, really hard. So, But that's, that was fun. So you got your macros. You, got, you did get some loot. You got some loot before you before you left. We already talked about your soft reserve. I didn't get my soft reserve. And get this: on Friday, our raid night, our guild has canceled raid because of Christmas. Friday isn't Christmas. Sunday. Friday is Friday is the twenty third of December. That's not a holiday. Oh shoot! That reminds me, Oliver's birthday's coming. We need to get his gift. Um, the twenty third isn't Christmas. Why is raid canceled? Wait, you were supposed to get his present like last week. Yeah, but you know full well that I haven't. We'll get it. Um, yeah, but the 23rd's not Christmas. Why is raid cancelled? I don't know. You talk to the people. You're more friends with them than I am. I'm more friends with them. Maybe there might be... You know what? Last time they cancelled raid because of a holiday, uh, we did one anyways. So maybe we'll just do an unofficial one. But I don't know. Does anyone have anything else to say? I feel like we've rambled a lot about... it's. You know what? This is the holiday. This is the holiday episode. Because this is coming out on the 26th. So there's a lot of rambling and unfocused talk. And uh, I was going to tell a story about Al, but I think the moment has passed. Oh, tell the story. I can, If you don't like it where it is, I can clip it and put it somewhere else in the episode. What's your story about I don't about even Al? know how to start it. Because what, what, you said something. No, you said something about game not to take it so serious or something. Say, okay, here. Do you remember what you said? Say, oh, don't take it so serious. No, that's not what he said. Anyways, we'll play it back and we'll figure it out. You said something, and then I'm just like, last night when I swooped in and stole all your loots. Yeah, your I ground was... spawns, you were getting pretty annoyed. Yeah, I was overreacting. Intentionally. I was, dram- I was being dramatic. But it was fun swooping in. He was I also know, laughing. Know he was also laughing hysterically the whole time because you kept stealing everybody's loot. Yeah, I know. All the I ground spawns. I know you spawns. were enjoying it. All the ground spawns. It wasn't the loot because I can't steal your loot, but I was. Well, all the ground spawns. I had it on free for all. For oh, a while and then too. when you. And then when you finished something, I was like clicking. Yeah, I was really? clicking, and it went down in the box <laughs> open. But I looked down, and Sam got. It. I was like, "How the hell did you do that?" It's no. because one of one of the only add-ons that she went and got on her own that she really wanted is the super speedy auto loot. Don't you all have auto loot on? I have the, the no, no. We have auto loot on. Do you have an add-on for auto loot? I don't yeah, think you do, because <laughs> I have like if you go into the the options in game, you can turn on auto loot. That's the only auto loot oh, I have. You have you have an add on called Super Speedy Auto Loot. Which, okay, I'm gonna look that up. Which when we all you click ninja. on when we all click on something, you get the loot because you have the add on that like super fast. Loots I didn't know it. I had an add on. You went and got it yourself. No, I didn't. You saw it on the list and you were like, I want that. Okay, I remember that now. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, oh. <laughs> But yes, no, I was being dramatic. 
We all got the quests done. And, like, you were trying to kill something to get to, like, whatever that yes, grab spot I was. <laughs> I, just, I, I saw you go by. It. You didn't stop to help me. You just went over to Lou and I was like, you son of a... Get over here. <laughs> That's okay. That was, in, that was in Grizzly Hills, right? Yes. yes. I was going to complain about Grizzly Hills, but that was a fun story to end on, so I won't <laughs> complain about Grizzly Hills today. Yeah. Well... We were having fun in Grizzly Hills, though. That's outrageous! Every time. Oh, we're done. Okay, I guess we'll just stop. I thought I'd just shoot that. This. This is.